Welcome to another Bread for a Friend. I thank you for taking time out of your schedule today uh, to spend some time with us in the Word of God. We've been looking over the last several weeks on the return of Christ. We've been reading out of Revelation chapter 22, verse 20, where the Bible said, He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. We've looked at these uh, things concerning the return of Christ. We looked, uh, first of all, at the promise of his return. We've looked at the person that is returning. And then uh, last time we looked at the promptness of his return. I will look today in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning looking at this, at the particulars of the return of Christ. For we find in the word of God in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, those great verses, famous verses, verses 13 through 18, where the Bible said, But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you saw not, even as others which have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. Well, that's important to realize. He said this is the word of the Lord. This is just not what Paul has thought up or some other apostle, some other preacher, but this is the word of the Lord, that we which are alive remain under the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. And the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I want to begin looking a little bit at the particulars of the return of Christ. For we find that he is speaking to this church at Thessalonica concerning the returning of the Lord. Matter of fact, if you'll study the book of 1 Thessalonians, all five chapters, somewhere in the chapter, he mentions the return of Christ. That's one of the main emphasis of the book of Thessalonians here in 1 Thessalonians. We, we will look at those, some of the particulars here. Uh, first of all, one of the particulars, and we're talking about the kind of the order, kind of how things are going to transpire when Christ descends from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. Boy, I, I'm glad I know he's coming. Uh, and it could be today. We look at the world's events. We look at things going on. And uh, as we study the Bible, we know that the coming Lord is drawing nigh. There's no doubt. And, and I've said it already on, the, on one of these Bread for Friends before. And I stress again, we're, we're not really looking for signs. We're listening for the shout. But I'll tell you, we also do know that as we study Scripture, we can see how things are progressively uh, getting worse. And uh, just like the Bible said it would in the last days, perilous times, that's where we're at. So many things are coming to pass. So the Lord's going to descend from heaven. He's coming back. And I'm glad he is. It could be the day. Are you ready to go if this is the day? Well, the first thing's going to happen, there's going to be a resurrection. For the Bible very clearly tells us this in verse 13 and verse number 14. Uh, but I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. Now I want to make mention of this. Uh, the word asleep and then the word sleep is used in this text of scripture. Why is Paul using this word asleep or sleep in relation to someone that's died? Well, when it's, you're referring to uh, a saved person, these words are very often used in the New Testament because for us that are saved, all we're going to do is we're going to rest from our labor. We're going to have rest from of the troubles and trials of this life. And just as though we would say, now this is, this is not soul sleep. There's false religions out there that talk about souls. That's crazy. Uh, the word's just used because we are going to rest from our labor. If we have to go by the grave. So when the Lord Jesus returns, the, the first thing that's going to happen, there will be a resurrection of those that have died in Christ. For the Bible says, uh, for them which are asleep, that you shall not, even as others which have no hope. That's lost people. That, man, they're, they're eternity set. And then verse 14, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, I believe that, how about you? He said, even so them which also which sleep in uh, Jesus will God bring with him. Then also verse 15, for this we send you 
And by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive remain in the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. That word prevent means proceed. We're not going up till they get up. So we know that at Christ's return, there will be the resurrection of those who have died in Christ. You can study 1 Corinthians chapter 15, talks quite a bit concerning the resurrection, not only the resurrection of Christ, but the resurrection of believers. So we're going to continue next week this particulars of the return of Christ. I pray this has been a help to you. If you've had a loved one that's died and they were saved, thank God we're going to see them again. Oh, at the re return of Christ, they're getting resurrected. I pray we've been a help to you today. Tune in next time for another Bread for Friend.